Fedora 40 is here. When compared to its older releases, it may not be the most exciting one. But I think Fedora 40 went for a slightly conservative approach for the changes. This is Ankush from its first. Here I am going to talk about what's new in Fedora 40 while I show you around. With Fedora 40, you can obviously expect the latest desktop environment updates and some interesting technical updates. Some of the notable changes include GNOME 46, KDE Plasma 6 for its Kinoid Spin, a new family of atomic desktops, and other technical changes. Here, we focus on the GNOME Workstation Edition. For obvious reasons, most of the visual improvements come from GNOME 46. Unlike Ubuntu, Fedora does not customize the GNOME experience in a different manner. So what you can expect from GNOME 46, you find it exactly here. The refinements to the file manager include a new global search icon at the top left corner and a new search icon replacing the older one. You also get a more detailed column view with the date modified giving you more control to what you see on your file manager. GNOME 46 is a good upgrade which improves accessibility, user experience and makes it a good choice for beginners. The software center now shows verified batches for Flathub apps. There are no big visual makeovers, but you can notice a redesigned preferences menu, clear error messages and a new keyboard shortcuts window. Next, the most useful change with GNOME 46 is the reorganized privacy and security option. It just looks better this way and the brand new system menu includes date, time and language settings, which makes the settings app much more cleaner and clutter free. You get all the options easily accessible from under a single menu. I think this approach is pretty neat. Regarding software, with Fedora 40, you get GNOME's Snapshot app as the webcam app replacing the Cheese app, which was in Fedora 39. Not to forget, you can expect the new loop image viewer with GNOME 46 as well, along with other upgrades to apps like GNOME Weather and so on. Not just limited to the apps for its flagship edition, Fedora replaced the immutable term with Atomic for some of its spins, creating an entirely new family of Fedora spins, reorganized for marketing and technical accuracy. The Fedora Silver Blue, Kinoid are all Atomic desktops now, so you don't call them immutable anymore. Other technical changes include the Network Manager getting new ability to address conflicts of duplicate IPv6 addresses and security enhancements like systemd, security hardening, and other network privacy updates. Finally, Fedora 40 is powered by the latest Linux kernel 6.8, which includes support for newer hardware and other refinements. Fedora 40 may not be the biggest upgrade, but it's a nice one. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts on Fedora 40 in the comments down below.